What up, my dude? So I wanted to treat you this week with a little hump day horror because I saw this movie and it literally blew my mind, okay? Don't ask me why I am so far off the wagon with this director because he is phenomenal. Um, but I got to watch the movie Climax, okay? Anybody know about this? So it's released on Shutter right now. And this is um, Gaspar Noé, Noé Gaspar. I always fuck that up backwards, forwards. Anyways, the, the dude's a freaking genius at what he does. This movie is so good. Okay, if you need a film that is going to make me feel extremely uncomfortable, um, make you never want to do drugs again, um, also just full on give you anxiety, if you're needing those emotion, guys, watch this film. Okay, this movie broke my brain. It's so good. Okay, number one. You basically have all these dancers that are working under this, I guess, super big choreographer type person. Um, and they're staying in this old creepy school. Um, and the shots open up and they're all like dancing and it's all like theatrical. So I was getting nervous watching this. I was like, oh shit, is this gonna be like a freaking musical? Like I'm not ready for this. Um, nothing against musicals, just sometimes you're just not feeling it. Um, but this movie is hypnotic, literally hypnotic. So they're blasting like, it's like, um, disco house music, which I love. Um, and everybody's kind of moving and dancing and getting into it. So you're like, okay, like I'm watching the choreography happen, I guess. Um, happen. Sorry, I can't speak. Um, and then all of a sudden it kind of breaks out like, oh, like they see their choreographer, they start talking to her. They're all kind of shooting the shit in this big old school gym and they're having like a party. It's kind of like, yay, we finished everything. Time to have like this little last hoorah. They all start drinking this punch and obviously things start going a little wrong. Weird sexual tension starts happening between certain people. It's one of those things, right? They've been off doing this schooling or whatever for so long. So like you're starting to get to know like the characters. And again, everybody in this movie is phenomenal. Like a fantastic performance from everyone. Um, and you also have the choreographer lady or her kid is actually there. Yeah. So an even weirder thing, right? There's someone, like one young kid who's just, anyways, this movie, okay? Shit hits the fan like right away. People start to notice like, whoa, did somebody drug our, our drinks? So it's like they started having all this punch, assuming that maybe it was an alcohol. But at this point, everybody is now on an acid trip. The amount of terrifying things that go wrong in this situation. And you just feel this epitome of, oh my goodness, like this is chaotic. Like even just knowing that there's a kid in the vicinity and like that kid needs to hide, like everybody is bad tripping. And we're talking to the point that like negative trips, you have some that are just kind of like in their own zone, but you are t being taken down like a tunnel with like each and every one of them in a sense. Not like every single one, but like they focus on a couple of them. And boy, do you feel it. You know, like corridors getting longer, situations with people getting weirder. If anybody's ever been in these kinds of situations before, you know, sometimes people's energies are like really great. And sometimes they're just like, I just need to be alone. I need to just feel myself in my own thoughts. And this movie encapsulates that, but it also takes it and kind of bends your mind like what if that scenario happened what if you were put into a situation where it was this offsetting anyways this was like a huge and just the different themes they hit and you would think can people actually be this way like there's a moment I don't want to spoil this too much but there is a moment where one of them one of the girls like they're like oh you didn't drink the punch you must have spiked it and like everybody's getting in this like messed up trance, right? Like everybody's kind of vibing off each other and they're like, oh my God, she didn't drink it. She didn't drink it because she's pregnant, okay? Obviously it's not something you'd want to blurt out. She's pretty sober compared to everybody else, obviously, and everybody else is bad tripping. So it's almost like everybody else is on this trip, but she is also now facing this freaking trip and a half as she's stuck in it. Everyone around her is like just dealing with it. And you're just like, oh my God. Can this get any worse? Of course. This girl gets punched in the stomach. You are like, and it just, this movie just spirals out of control. A beautiful title as well as Climax, because this movie is really, really a treat. Um, 
I would have to say this is like a horror thriller, you know, like again, more of like a psychological take on things. And again, like a drug trip that's gone really bad. I highly suggest you guys see this because it is, again, a movie that evoked so much emotions. What I found really interesting is you pop this director's name into like Google. Like I was like, what else has this guy done? Like apparently Irre Irreversible is supposed to be a really sick movie as well. I haven't seen that one yet. It's on my list. Um, but another thing is, remember that movie Angst? I talked about the movie Angst a while back. That movie tripped me up. But it, I guess it compares those two directors to each other, which really blew my mind because I was like, you know what? Angst was one of the like the last movies that I watched that I like felt icky after watching. You know what I mean? Like you feel like I need a shower. This was a lot. This is one of those movies. So I was like, ah, anyways, I'm going to stop talking. You guys go watch the movie Climax. Let me know your thoughts because it is so good. If you're subscribed, thank you so much. And guys, if you're not, get on that. Be a part of the movie fam. We are here to share good ones, bad ones, all kinds. So yeah, never be shy to also pop those titles down in the comments because sharing is caring. All right, you guys have a wicked week and we'll see you soon. Bye.